Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jake, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Rate. Next slide, please. Or do I have a clicker? Let's give a minute. Yep, sorry about this. Okay, so Red is a fintech company that um, I founded in 2016. We are really focused on creating a sustainable ecosystem through the use of blockchain. Now, what do we mean by sustainable here? Is uh, we really want to reduce our reliance on existing financial infrastructure. Our mission here is to build a new decentralized financial infrastructure specialized for cross-border payments and credit first, and among other things, financial services ultimately. So what is the problem today, right? For digital businesses, uh, number one is speed. So it takes two to three days for settlements to clear uh, using the existing financial infrastructure. And processing fees uh, range from two to five percent. Second is fraud. So for businesses, uh, the reputation system across the world globally is uh, poor. In the sense that in the US, uh, in Asia, in China, Indonesia, everybody uses a different system. It is ununanimous. Cut fraud is also expected to hit $32 billion by 2020. Lastly, when it comes to liquidity, which is lending, for businesses uh, in B2B loans, it is slow, opaque, and complicated. There are a lot of people that lack access to credit, especially for businesses because um, Cash flow is uh, very cyclical. So we launched a very new decentralized dual protocol for cross-border payment and credit score. The unique thing about RAID3 is it's built using cross-chain architect. We are simultaneously both on Stellar and Ethereum. So what is cross-chain architect? In short, the token itself is simultaneously on both Stellar and Ethereum blockchain, and in the future, which I will share later, on IOST and Zelinka. We are able to utilize the blockchain that has the most maturity, stable, and provide the needs in terms of financial services uh, using various blockchain. So for the first, cross-border payment protocol. How does it work here? So, our payment protocol for payment is uh, powered by Stellar. Why? Number one, Stellar is fast and scalable. We are able to do two to five seconds per transaction, and uh, the latest test is 2,000 TPS, but you know, uh, I think by the end of this year, we are able to do 4,000 transactions per second. And the most, most, the best part of using Stellar, it, it only costs 0 0.00001 per XLM for each transaction. This is really suitable for businesses that want to utilize for micro payments. Second, cross-asset distributed exchange, which is built onto the Stellar network, allows us as an anchor to put in order books for any businesses that requires remittance needs. At launch, which is actually, it's already launched, we are able to support 12 fiat currencies and most of the largest volume cryptocurrencies today for any businesses that wish to accept them. The last part, there is no more reliance on any server, and it is going to be 24-7. The issue with banks is you may try to deposit a, a change currency for settlements on a Friday, and end up, you only receive it on a Monday. But on the blockchain, it is 24-7 and interoperable. Now, liquidity. First, we help uh, businesses solve settlement issues. Second, we help them uh, solve their loan issues. We chose to use Ethereum for this aspect. Why? Number one, Ethereum is widely adopted and mature. The ecosystem uh, built uh, for devs to build on has a lot of developers and is Turing complete for the smart contract. That, allow, uh, that allows us to uh, uh, let borrower and lender enter into a smart loan contract in the most effective and mature manner. Lastly, IPFS. All the data that we take from borrower and lender is fully decentralized and stored with our partnership with IPFS. 
How does this work, the mainnet? For a borrower, in this case, any businesses that require liquidity in it, they submit a loan request and relevant information to the mainnet. Second, through the first proof of transaction using our payment protocol, proof of identity and attestation, these three proofs allows us to credit the borrower and lender into a smart loan contract. What's the token use case here? Token is on the lender as, as a perspective, it is being used as a contract fee. For the, lend, uh, for the borrower, it is used as a discount on your loan repayment to the lender when you fulfill the various proof that we require. The credit score protocol hence issue a score for traditional liquidity providers, for those that runs a loan book and a smart loan contract is made between the two parties. I think every token requires a proper tokenomics to ensure that uh, the entire economic theory actually makes sense. So for the payment protocol, Rate 3 serves as a medium of exchange. For businesses that require remittance needs in terms of changing one currency to another, the token itself uh, does that for them. For the, credit pro uh, for the main net in terms of a credit score, it is a perfect store of value. Because for every transaction that takes place, takes place on the payment protocol, a small gas fee is incurred. For, the number, for any successful loan being made on our platform, the lender actually hands out, uh, takes a small deduction of RTE as a contract fee. So as the number of transactions and successful loan increases, which in this place, adoption, it decreases the total circulating supply today and hence increases the token's value. For the team itself, uh, we have about 18 people in Singapore. Actually, today is 25. We have an office in Taiwan, Indonesia. These are existing offices. And right now, uh, in the next three months, Beijing, Korea, and Japan. These are our investors today. We are actually the first project backed by Matrix China, a 2.4 billion uh, equity fund. We are backed by Fembushi, Note Capital, FBG, Kinetic, Alpha Fund, uh, also, we have an alliance with IOST to build on top of their blockchain. Uh, current exchanges trading right now is Bitbox, DDX, Dexstop, ABCC, and IDEX. Uh, some of our key advisors here, I think uh, most notable is actually uh, Mr. Eddie Wu, which is a CTO of Alibaba. So, we founded in 2016. So today, you know, we, we are looking at July 2018. What have we done over the 19 years? 19 months. <laughs> so we have two products that's already live and helping users save tons of money. The first product is a Chrome extension that provides mid-market exchange rate with no transaction fee live on cross-border e-commerce. Some of the e-commerce that we support is Rakuten, Amazon, Taobao, uh, any uh, China e-commerce that's allowed by Alipay, we are able to help consumers already uh, using today. Rate S is actually a mobile app that allows you to do the same thing, but on top of that, it is powered by an AI machine that tells you which product that you are interested in is the cheapest at any point in time. So just an example today, my watch, uh, I'm interested in Samsung Gear S3. Uh, I will fire up my app, and I know that in Japan, at this point in time, on that website, it is the cheapest around the world. For Rate S and Rate S, it was going to be the first dApp on top of our own network that requires both settlements and liquidity for any businesses or consumer that are using our existing product. So some of our very interesting partnership is uh, with Brahma OS. We are going to develop an offline wallet that allows you to, uh, when you go any, out of the 12 currency that we support, enables you to pay offline. But that requires uh, the stable coin mechanism, which I will talk more uh, later. We already have funding society uh, on our mainnet, which is 140 million loan book. So once the mainnet goes live, anyone that requires liquidity comes to the mainnet, we can provide loan immediately. Uh, we have a partnership with Zelenka. Once their testnet comes up live in Q3, we are considering to port over from Ethereum to uh, Zelenka. So what is the actually overall vision here, right? We really want to help existing businesses uh, get access to exchange rate, liquidity, settlement speed uh, of how the bank actually works between each other. We are, you can say that we are targeting the long tail, you know, the small businesses, enabling them to function as efficient 
and cost-effective like banks. So accelerating our adoption through e-commerce transaction first, which is the first company that I built, we believe that blockchain can empower not just e-commerce, but any businesses to reduce their reliance on traditional infrastructure. We want to create a new global financial infrastructure that is both effective, efficient, and equitable. Thank you.